So I think there's many ways that veterinarians can keep in contact with clients outside of the appointment. Um, obviously that annual exam, assuming that the practice is focusing on annual exams, not semi-annual exams, is one of the key communicating points with the pet owner, but there may be follow-up exams that are necessary, so you've got reminders going out, you can do phone calls, but whatever it takes to get the people to come back for the for the follow-up exam, if that's something that's needed. If you've got puppies and kittens, they may be coming back for multiple appointments for their vaccinations, they may be coming back for spay-neuter, um, but beyond actually coming into the practice, certainly communicating via social media, so Facebook, Twitter, if a practice uses Twitter, newsletters of some kind. Um, most of the practices that I see that do a newsletter, it's a digital newsletter, an electronic newsletter now. Um, I think things like that, just some kind of communication on a regular basis. I don't think we want to reach out to clients every week, but if you did some kind of a, um, a newsletter every month, if you have regular postings on Facebook, on Twitter, just talking about topics that are of interest to, to pet owners. Short, sweet, I personally think that the frequency of the contact makes more is more important than the length of it and I'm not really sure that pet owners want to read some lengthy um, newsletter article or Facebook post they just want short and sweet um, if you want to give them more information they can click through to your website but the electronic communication is probably going to be where most of that communication is going to be it's just what people are used to it's easy to do it's reasonably priced so that's what I would focus on